Some people happily speed towards their death, not even stopping to smell the roses, and it's not a lifestyle I stand behind. So I like slow motion cameras and fun. To stop and sniff. I got a comment the other day, Hello Casey, you are aware that a few models of red digital cinema cameras can record 240p at 4K and have very high dynamic range, right? Is the issue that you want 240p at a 4K or a small mirrorless body without overheating for less than 2K USD? <laughs> Laugh, cry. Don't mock me. That is exactly what I want. It should be possible. It's 2029 already. Give me what I want. I think slow motion is a fun way to just add an interesting element to... What are you doing? Are you seriously trying to attack me that slowly? I'll just leave. Look how long it's gonna take you. So today we have a little fun talk about why I love slow motion and why I seek it and what are the options for us. A dedicated high speed cam or like a mirrorless little action cams. We'll go through all the various options and have a little fun. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So right now as a consumer, we have access to 4K 120p and HD 240 at our basic needs seminars. We, we don't have much higher than that. If you want more than that, you have to go dedicated and coughing up some coins. Are you gonna throw something at me? As if I couldn't just duck right under it. Oh God, this is pathetic. You're serious right now. Look how long it's taken. That thing's flying at me. Oh, so if you want slow motion on a budget, I think your best bet is either an action cam or one of these phones. Your phone likely does it. A Samsung anything does the 960, but it's not as good as the Huawei. So Huawei, you're looking at like 600 bucks. Your action cams are even cheaper than the phone. We're talking 400 US for GoPro 11 or the DJI Action 4. And you can do unlimited amounts of 240 frames. It's not gonna look very nice. I would say the HD 960 looks better in the Huawei phone. It's a bigger sensor, actually same size as the DJI sensor now. For slightly more money, but it's very controlled. It's just a burst and to trigger it, sometimes like you put a little box and anything that moves in the box triggers the recording that can be so helpful if you're recording by yourself but sometimes it triggers outside the recording so here's the huawei p40 pro and you see this box you can place somewhere and then you wait but watch you press record it's armed and waiting for something to move in the box and then here i am outside the box watch it will happen oh my god I swear it's gonna happen. Oh my god. Don't you hate that when something just doesn't work, but then you try to prove it, and then you look insane? So what I often end up doing, I'll press record on a timer, and then go into the scene. Oh my god, I'm juggling potatoes. But it doesn't trigger, it should be over here. And probably <laughs> The Sony ZV-1 also has a very similar 960 frames per second with a tiny two second burst, but it's even harder to film yourself because you have to trigger it and then run into place. You have two seconds to do all this, one second to run into place, do something fun, and then it should record some of that. I much prefer the trigger system in a box if it was actually reliable. That would be so nice. Or some kind of trigger or a delay. All Sony needs is a little delay. Press record and then it's like a five second countdown. Then you run. Then you do your flips with your watermelons. Oh no. It's good content. Shut up. I could just move. I was just like relax over here. You're crazy. Oh, it's coming. I am a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So those are your basic hobo options. The action cams, phones, and some point and shoots. And they get great results. They're fun, fairly cheap, small. You can bring them with you. You don't have to think about like setting up rigs. That's the entry level to this. Oh, Stu, are you running too? 
So you throw something as a long range attack and then you're gonna run up and hit me. I could just walk away. I don't even believe this is like an issue I should be worried about right now. You're like overselling this whole thing it's so dramatic. Just relax sometimes. Get a life. I'm not even gonna leave. Look how long it's taking you. As if like I'm in danger right now. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I just, I like slow motion because it, you can see all the little details that you would, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you chasing me? Oh, stop harassing me. You'll never be where I am right now. What do you, you don't even know karate. You have zero flexibility. Now, when we're moving up, there's plenty of options for 4K 120 and HD 240 now, but we have the Sony a7S III and it's hard to beat that. I think it does the best 240p right now on the market. You're not beating it for this price, and you're also having a camera that can film regular video. That's the thing. I bring this system out, I can make an actual video, and then also do some slow motion B-roll, whereas some of these like dedicated high-speed cams, although they'll do better slow-mo, it's, you're done. It's not only you gotta rig it up with monitors and stuff, you also don't have a camera to shoot regular video, so you have to bring another camera to do that. So we're talking two cameras now. Do you have a bag? The a7S III also has amazing autofocus in slow-mo, which most other cameras don't. So it's like a one-man band, just press record, you're in frame, it's got you. It's like you're stuck at 240 frames, but you cannot ask for more a7S III except 480 frames. I ask it. You seriously brought the yam with you outside. Oh god, I can just move. I'll just hide behind this tree. I have so much time to do that. Now another interesting option you might not have thought of is the Sony FS5. This is a weird one. It does HD 240, but it also does these 480 frames and 960 frames in a little burst. I think it's a decent sized burst though, like maybe 8 or 16 seconds slightly lower resolution it's it's pretty bad but it's a cinema cam and you do have to update it with a firmware which i cannot confirm or deny i don't know if it even exists still and it's very weird like you look it up and it says sony we can do these firmwares 480 frames 960 okay but then like which firmware is it there's a bunch of them and when you look into each firmware, none of them say that they do 480 or 960. And they're all very expensive. So it's like, you could find the FS5. I've seen it for like two grand-ish Canadian. You do that, but then which firmware do you buy? And that's 500, almost as much as the damn camera. So it's like, I don't know. You're looking at three grand-ish. And does the firmware even exist? Will it really look much better than the ZV-1's 960 frames? Like, I'm imagining it's gonna look slightly better, but the hassle of it might not be worth it. If you can find an old used FS5 with the firmware installed, then you might be onto something, but you're not gonna find anything. It's gonna bounce right off the tree. I'll just wait here. God, this sucks. I just wanna make a video. But why like slow motion? You're ruining it. Oh man. Now when it comes to dedicated slow motion cameras designed for this one purpose and they can't do anything else, but they're really good at this. The thing is, there's really three cameras. Four, we'll get to the fourth. But like when you search for them, often you go, you find something and it's like, okay, how much is it? Contact us for the price. It's not that much. It's more than seven cars, usually, and they don't tell you the price, so I'm not even gonna look into it. If your site doesn't have the price, you lost me immediately. Like, grow up. Tell me, what's what's the news? Bad news first, Doc. Do you just do this stretch, like that, a couple times a week, the hamstrings. That's where you're lacking. My shirt. Who wears a wig? No way that's your real hair. Oh, you're so slow. This is taking so much time. I don't, I don't have the time for this. Nobody does. We're bored.
So the two main competitors right now are the Kronos 2.1 HD and the Free Fry. What happened to my brain? That's not healthy. The free fly wave. It's not even that hard to say. So it, initially it was like 10 grand for the free fly, five grand for the Kronos. And the Kronos does a thousand frames per second in HD only. Whereas the free fly wave does 4K 420 and HD 1440. So it's much better spec, but now when I go to look them up, since Freefly released a new version, the Ember, which we'll talk about next, they seem to have lowered the price and the HD one, it seems like if you want more RAM, you got to jump up extra. So it's now like almost the same exact price. I don't know why you would ever get the Kronos, you morons. Is he gone yet? Just leave me alone. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll be over here. But there's some caveats that come with both of these pieces of shit. Like that's, you have no monitor. You can't see anything. So you have to buy an external monitor. You're now huge. You're rigging up a system. And the Kronos HD has a C mount, which you can get a C mount to EF or Nikon adapter. Will it vignette? You have no idea. Will the mount break off? I don't know. It doesn't seem like a great system. Whereas the Freefly has a locking E-mount, which isn't great because you can't use any electronic system lens for the Sony. So like I have all these E-mount lenses, you cannot manually focus or do anything, change aperture. The only lens I could use, I think, is the Voidylander 35mm 1.2, because it's all manual focus. You might not need the electronics, but you might even, I don't even know. So like you have to have a dedicated cinema lens. It's not the same, like, oh, I'm getting E-mount. You're not, and don't quote me on this, but I think you have to like convert the files of the free fly wave. You can't just play them in DaVinci. So that's an extra step that hurts. Whereas the Kronos, you can play those. Don't quote me on that either. I don't know. So like that would really suck if you don't just have files and I have to convert shit. So I don't know, slow-mo is just my thing. I've always been fascinated by it, whether it's birds or skateboarders. I used to skateboard. I wish I had a video camera back in those days to catch my kick flips and the heel flips. Oh, you dare see it. I tell you, it's just something special. It may not be your thing. It... Is he serious? You're not tactical. Why are you tactically attacking me right now? You're not in the military. But you're looking at eight grand plus tax, plus monitors, maybe battery solutions. Like you're heavily invested now for some bullshit. You're running out with a potato. Like, who's gonna watch it? You're not gonna make your money back. You suck, you have no creativity. It's unfortunate, but those are your options and it only gets worse from a money standpoint. It's just not right. What did I do to deserve it? Lord, be with me. Be with me, Lord. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. So Freefly just came out with their Ember which does 5K 600 frames per second and 4K 800 and just keeps on going. But it's like 18 grand and it's the same locking E-mount. That's a lot of money, man. Now you're like heavily invested and you're probably not gonna do anything with it. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't record like 24 frames per second talking head video. And now we're going like, you need to bring another camera. That hurts a lot. Why do you bring a yam everywhere? Oh God, it's the most annoying thing. Oh, why does he do it? Protect me tree, protect me from his wrath. Now, as good as that camera is, or would be for slow-mo, the Red V Raptor, same price as the Ember. It does 8K 120, 4K 240, HD 480. That'd be plenty enough. And you're also a cinema camera. 
you could make a movie as well on the side and just have slow motion in the movie whereas the ember is only slow-mo no movie a silent movie you could dub live it that's not even this th saying but that's also 18 grand and it's an RF mount so you could have some nice Canon glass but all these little I think there's crops so like the 8k is 120 full sensor boom cropping in double the amount for 4k 240 and then cropping in another double for the HD 480 so that could hurt that adds up so as an a7s3 owner I mean the, all the clips I've been playing, the first one in here was the GoPro 11, recorded the talking head segment in 240 frames, and then the other two clips outside were with the A7S III and the Viltrox 16mm, and it's just like, I filmed in HD, but it looks much worse in slow-mo, so I had to like sharpen the slow-mo and nothing looked right ever. But I feel kind of stuck at this level because in order to upgrade, there's a lot of downsides. Having a dedicated thing, huge camera that can only do a one jack of no trades. Or you're just sticking with your phone. So it's like, it hurts. Like what's, tell me, what's the better option out there? Let me know down below that I missed something. Because all these other sites had the information without any prices. What are the prices of something? A budget high speed cam thing? Someone should be doing it. But nobody's doing it. Anyways, I, I just, I like slow motion. You see things that you wouldn't see, the details in the facial expression, every little movement, a piece of happiness, sadness, doesn't matter. It's amplified. Wow. How could anyone hate that? They couldn't. I'm gonna leave. Thank you for watching a slow motion episode. I had a lot of fun. Be subscribing for more videos so I can see you in the next one. Camera Conspiracies t-shirts have been purchased by some. Seriously? That's just bad news. That's just bad news. He's looking for a fight. I won't have any part of it. I could have just walked away. You know that. You never would have caught me.